<laughs> what did he do? <laughs> did he get a tree? He got the whole tree. Can you see what it says? Here, Here you go. go. <laughs> Travis is a first grader at Hamilton Soda One Elementary School in La Crosse. He's been fidgeting during this morning session at a hallway desk with Deborah Nehrud, but he's more engaged since he selected the book Jack and the Box by Art Spiegelman, in which Jack the Rabbit gets a new toy. I am not a bad toy. I am a silly toy. <laughs> yes, hi. Yes, you, you are, are a, a very silly child. <laughs> Travis is one of about 120 students at Hamilton involved in a special tutoring program funded by donors to the La Crosse Public Education Foundation. The $50,000 gift has allowed the school to hire a dozen part time tutors like Deborah Nehrud to regularly work with students in need of extra reading time. The donors, who wish to remain anonymous, were volunteers at Hamilton and saw a need for students to have more one-on-one -on -one reading time with an adult. They conceived a program to hire parents, senior citizens, and others, providing them with extra income while helping students improve skills. So many of the children don't have people that encourage reading, so being able to be here to help them see how important reading is, is a great thing. It's giving them extra exposure to people who love to read and shows them that reading is a great tool to escape. Travis is one of many students who enjoys the extra attention. While shy on camera, he says he likes to read now, in part because Miss Deborah reads to him. Art graphic novel. Yeah. Are you going to disappear below the table and we won't be able to read ever again? No! He's a very smart kid. Like, he's, he's really smart. He just needed help focusing. And so she thought he would be a good person to be with me so that he would have special focused reading time that he may not be getting in the class or at home or whatever, but. Do you know this word? No. I'm sure you've seen it before. So it's just sharing. Sharing. It. It's my ball. No, it's my ball. No. No, it's mine. No, mine. mine. Like, I'm, I'm also learning, like, what he's interested in. He likes space, he likes dinosaurs. He really likes when we, we do, like, you he heard him say, you be the mom and dad. So he likes it when we, when we are collaborative when we read together. And I know that he's more likely to read if I read first and he hears that I'm already going to, you know, do that. But then also that we're going to share parts. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, that's, but I would not have been able to learn that if I wasn't here regularly, you know, to figure out what he likes. He also really likes power of choice. So giving him, you know, multiple things to choose from. I, I know he likes graphic novels, and I know that he has a goal for at least three. So I always bring four, and I give him that power of choice. Um, I don't know what his situation is, but it's empowering for anybody to have a power of choice, to be able to say, I want this book first, that book second, and this book third. Principal Steve Michaels credits the program, along with other intensive reading support efforts, with helping students improve skills as measured by regular assessments. Deborah Nehrud says she has seen Travis grow as a reader. Um, he's paying more attention, and he is he's uh, initiating reading before I have to ask him. Like he'll see words and he'll want to read them now like on his like he'll he'll volunteer it instead of me asking him to read like which part is this or what are they saying here I literally will read it and he'll start jumping in he wasn't doing that at first he just had me read an important element of the program is that tutors are paid for their time leading to more consistency in the schedule with students at the current rate of spending funding from the initial donation should last several school years
The pay does make a difference. I was volunteering for a while, so now that there's some pay involved, it makes it a lot easier to do. When kids have, um, especially the kids that I've been working with, when they, they are expecting me to be here and um, that this program can continue to exist, that, that means that I am going to continue to give them the consistency of showing up. It's easier for me to show up with the financial help knowing that I'm getting paid to do this. To learn more about the Hamilton Reading Program and other school programs funded through the La Crosse Public Education Foundation, visit our website at lacrosseeducationfoundation.org.